Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg. So, Jay, Michael Benson uh, announced today that um, Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez are currently in negotiations for a potential fight. Um, that would be a big fight at 140 pounds, certainly one that I would be interested in. I think the broader general boxing public would be interested in that fight as well. Um, it's, it's a bit surprising to me uh, with, them, uh, with him announcing that. And uh, to an extent, I have to question it, right? Because um, Teofimo Lopez is, is in a contract dispute currently with top rank. So it's, it's surprising to me that Teofimo would be negotiating with anybody with that contract dispute. As a matter of fact, I think when his name was tied to other fighters uh, about a few weeks ago, it was brought up that he had contract disputes with top rank. And so he wasn't going to be fighting anybody in the very near future. So all of a sudden now he's negotiating a fight with uh Devin Haney really doesn't it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me but certainly if this is something that is occurring it's a fight that I think general boxing fans will be interested interested in certainly hardcore boxing fans and and you know I would give Devin Haney props and Teofimo Lopez props as well um Devin would be continuing to add to his resume and um you know that's that that can only be a good thing in the sport of boxing i'm not going to knock him for taking on some of the best opponents out there um devin has sh i would say shown a willingness to 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 definitely fight the best opponents i'm not saying all of them but he has shown some willingness because i, I don't feel that he really showed a willingness to fight shakur stevenson but at the end of the day um you know that that would be a great fight and certainly one i would want to see so jay what's your thoughts on that i mean you know, Michael Benson is saying is I find it hard to believe, quite honestly, uh, just just based off what we know going on currently in Teofimo Lopez's camp. What, what What's your yeah, thoughts on that? It might be the fact that he realized he can't get out of that top rank contract because he signed an extension to a prior. You know, he signed an extension like after he signed like two extensions. I believe that's what Bob said after two consecutive fights. So it's almost like he extended to the extension, mm -hmm. you know, so I mean. What is he gonna do to get out of that now? But I mean, this is a good fight. You know, I'm definitely gonna watch it. I mean, the thing is, both of them are coming off lackluster performances. Teal's coming off a of performance against Jermaine Ortiz, who he some people thought he may have lost to, as well as Devin coming off a performance against Ryan Garcia, you know, who he initially lost to, then it turned to a no contest. So it's interesting on those two there, but I mean it might be a match made in heaven for both of them. Um I don't think anyone's going to get knocked out in the fight, honestly, in that, that fight there. Um, not saying Tio don't have power, but Devin's tough. I give Devin, Devin a lot of props for getting up off the canvas against Ryan and taking a lot of those shots. So he's not the one that's just going to take a knee and not get back up or try, try to get back up. So I give him props on that. Um, just interested on how, what platform it's going to be on. You know, Devin's a free agent. You know, Dev had some words to Bob. Bob had some words to Dev. How much is this going to make? You know, how much is a fight fight going to really make for all all parties involved? Because that's what it comes down to as far as Bob Aaron goes. He has to make his cut. You know, he's not giving no one free 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 lunch anymore on here. Um, we know Tio will turn down a fight with Brian Norman earlier this year. A little probably a few months back before Brian Norman got into negotiation with Boos and then the other fight he was supposed to have that fell through because he got injured. Um, so we don't know what Tio going on in Tio's head. Uh, so this is. It's going to be interesting, but to your point, I will give Devin credit for one of this fight here. He wanted to fight against Ryan. You know, um, not so much Shakur or Tank, you know, divide, despite what the Devin Haney maniacs try to say at times, he wants to smooth everybody. He, he's selected with it, you know, but I still got to give him his props. Uh, he's definitely going to boast his resume. Uh, we've always said at 135, 140, he probably has the best resume out of all the, especially the, uh, the four kings. We've always said that about Devin. He he has a better resume right now of all of them. You know, this would be the second one he would have been fighting up of, of those guys of Ryan and Tio. So we'll see. I'm here for it. You know, it's gonna be interesting how Devin comes back after that 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 fight he had with Ryan. You know, he's like he's been all over the place as far as his mental on this, but we'll see. I'm here for it. But I'm where, one thing we'll know if it's gonna happen, if Bill starts talking. That's who we gotta wait on. We gotta wait for Bill to start talking. Yeah, um, as far as the resume is concerned, and, and, you know, we've always stated to the point that you just made that Devin probably has the best resume out of those individuals. 
However, I think to the extent that it's better, I think people have exaggerated it grossly. Oh yeah. Um, Devin Devin's resume is actually kind of aging poorly when you look at like Regis and his performance against Catterall. It was clear that Regis wasn't really like that guy at that weight class. And then and the way um, Regis fought before that too. Yeah, exactly. It's like you know that that kind of and then Cambosos was never really someone that was thought of highly he just was a guy that beat Teofimo when Teofimo at least is claiming that he had a, an issue during the fight so I, I mean I, I think a little bit too much I think a little too much emphasis is put on Devin's resume and the fact that he was undisputed I mean he fought Cambosos to win the undisputed title so I mean and then who did he win his hundred and forty uh, uh, one hundred and forty WBC title from? I can't recall. Regis. It was Regis? It was Regis, right? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, like I think he got I think he got the best resume, um, but it's it's certainly not as good as people try to extend it to be or try to make it to be. Yeah. Um, you know, he got a good resume yeah. though. It was, yeah. Um. Now w- this this will certainly add to his resume because To is going to be one of those four kings, which means he would have been in the ring with at least two of them. Right, mm-hmm. and and Tank would have been in the ring with one of them, um, so certainly that adds to his resume for sure. Uh, but we'll see, you know, uh, if this fight actually comes to fruition. Again, I'm skeptical about this fight actually being negotiated, negotiated and or materializing, just because. Um, again, he's in a contract dispute. Jay, how many times have we seen fighters in contract disputes end up making high-profile fights? You don't see it that often. And Bob has already proven to be somewhat unwilling to pay Devin a substantial amount of money, at least the amount of money that Devin believes that he's willing he should make. So I don't know. I, I've always envisioned Devin next fight being with Turkey Alashik so that he can cash in on, on a bag, uh, maybe against somebody like Jack Catterall or something like that. That's that's more so along the lines of what I would envision Devin doing next. But if he fights Teofimo next, great. I mean, I think that's awesome. Yeah, Devin be awesome. But the thing about it also, Devin said he's when he's gonna he was gonna come back, he's not fighting on any weight class anymore. You remember he did say that. He said he's not fighting on a weight class anymore. So I mean, is this really gonna be at one forty for TO's belt or is it just gonna be at some catch weight for both of them since they are younger guys and they're they're kind of big for the weight class anyway, you know. So we'll see about that. But to your point, being into litigation like TO is, especially we know how Bob rolls. That's why I said, it's going to be interesting. That's why I said we have to wait to see when Bill Haney starts coming out. That's the person I'm waiting on Bill to come out and start talking. I know he talks out both sides of his mouth, that neck at times, but I'm ready to see Bill back on back on the block again. Yeah. You guys tell us what you think in the comments section in regards to this. Hopefully this is a fight that will materialize. Certainly we'll be in attendance to watch if it does materialize for sure. Don't forget to hate, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Angry Man Podcast and Sports Media, and we are out.